In the latest viral debate taking over TikTok, users are asking women whether they'd rather be trapped in the woods with a man or a bear, and many are choosing the bear, stating that a man may pose more potential danger than the wild animal, and the trend is sparking conversation about violence against women. Okay, which women are these that would rather encounter a bear than a man in the woods then because as somebody who goes walking in the countryside quite a lot um sometimes it's been through woods not very often but when i do well very often come across men normally accompanied by a dog okay um i've never come across a bear living in the uk we don't have many unless one escapes from the zoo or something Okay, but I'm I'm pretty sure that I am going to panic more if I come across a bear. And I'm pretty sure that everybody would, really. Many women participating in a new viral debate on TikTok say they would rather be alone with a bear than a man in the woods, answering a hypothetical question that is leading many women to open up about negative experiences they have had with men, including domestic violence and SA. Well... Okay, I, I understand that that is a serious thing. I'm not trying to be dismissive of that. But, like, um, that hardly means that, like, every man that you pass in the street is a danger, okay? Or that if you're going for a walk in the woods, like... I mean, o obviously, like, most of the men that you will meet will just be, like, going for a walk or taking their dog for a walk. Um, it, well, you know, obviously. Like, um, I mean, domestic violence is normally an issue... Uh, within you know romantic relationships and that can go either way okay you can get um abusive men and abusive women i i understand that because men are physically stronger than women um more women get seriously injured or even killed in domestic violence and, and that is a serious thing i'm not being dismissive of that but it's just that like this sort of um this 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 kind of question this man versus bear thing it's it's just unfairly demonising men. It's trying to sort of make out that a man is somehow a threat to a woman when most aren't. And when it comes to people that have, you know, something wrong with them that makes them abusive, that can be men or women. Um, if you're talking about, say, like, say, say like violence outside the home, I mean, cer certain things that can um, contribute to that is like, I mean, obviously if somebody's mentally ill, they might attack somebody. Or if they're very angry or aggressive, they might attack somebody. Generally speaking, men are more likely to attack other men, okay? Men um, are more likely to be the victims of um, violence on the street, okay? I know women are more likely to be victims of SA, okay? But um, when it comes to physical violence, men are more likely to, to attack other men. I also think that women are probably more likely... If a woman's violent, she's probably more likely to, to attack another woman the the only time that i've ever had like somebody on the streets be like threatening to me that's been a woman okay in my personal experience but obviously like the insinuation that if a woman's alone with a man that's like oh she's got to be scared he could be dangerous it's it's kind of pretty ridiculous i mean most people most people are decent people if you're in the woods obviously if you run into a, a man in the woods most women aren't going to be freaking out and panicking, but you sure would do if you ran into a bear, okay? Some women say they choose the bear because they don't know the man in question. Well, do you know the bear? Like one user who said, It's not my boyfriend, it's not my father, it's not my cousin. Adding, being alone with an unpredictable strange man is more frightening than being alone with a predictable wild animal. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I mean... Most of the time, if you were to run into a man in the woods or, I don't know, alone somewhere in the countryside, they're just minding their own business, they're going for a walk, they're not going to hurt you, okay? I mean, I know there's no guarantee any human that you pass in the street, like, man or woman, could be, like, some killer or something. But, um, most of the time, people are pretty safe. Again, if you come across a wild animal, like a bear, <laughs> like... Or, or, or something like like that. And, and they're not predictable. How can you say they're predictable? You don't know, like, if you come across a bear, you don't know whether it's going to attack you or not. But I'm willing to bet that most people wouldn't go anywhere near one. Some users are flipping the question, asking men 
whether they'd rather their wife or daughter be alone with a bear or a man in the woods. And many of the men choose bear, including one who said, I think you're more likely to anticipate what a bear would do than what a man would do. Again, that doesn't make any sense. I anticipate, right, if I'm going for a walk and I see a man, I anticipate that he's just going to say, hello, and then just walk past, and that's it, okay, because that's normally what happens. Um, if you run into a bear, <laughs> it's like, you don't, you, you don't know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, come on, this is like a really stupid question. One man asked by his wife to choose between their daughter being alone with a woman or a bear in the woods chose a woman without hesitation but struggled to answer whether he'd prefer her to be with a man or a bear although he ultimately chose bear okay interesting fact right um there was a married couple here in the uk called rosemary and fred west okay and um what they used to do is uh this is really quite horrible is they would sort of like drive past say like bus stops you know if 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 a, if a woman was waiting for a bus they'd pull over and ask if she wanted a lift so that she didn't have to pay for a bus fare okay and if she accepted a lift um well what they used to do is like they were they were kidnapping these women and they were sexually abusing them and then murdering them and buried them in their back garden okay it's really disgusting um but a lot of the time, like, if, if it was a strange man on his own offered a woman a lift, she would say no, okay? But because it was a husband and wife, so because there was a woman in the car, women didn't feel, like, too scared, like, to accept the lift, okay? They were more likely to accept the lift because a woman was there. They felt safer, okay? So the point I'm getting at is you can't guarantee a woman is safe either, okay? It's like... Most people, reasonable, good people, okay? But unfortunately, there's going to be some psychos out there that will do, like, horrible things to people, okay? But they are a minority. And, um, you know, stuff like this is sort of installing fear in women, making them think, you know, that um, that men could be more of a danger than what they are. I mean, you know, every everybody does have to take precautions and... and, and be safe okay like try well try to be as safe as they can okay and and look after their self that is true because you know most people like i said most people are good but it's only there's a few occasional psychos in this world unfortunately okay but the idea that like oh if you're in the woods a man is more of a threat to you than a bear i don't think anybody honestly believes that okay that's just sort of more like um fear mongering or you know wanting to um pit men and women against each other and it's, it's really not very nice okay so that's all i gotta say about that for now thank you for listening